Good Saturday morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. Thank you for joining me. If you will, like, share, comment on the post. And then we're going to look at um, one verse. Um, I hate that it's falling on a Saturday um, because it leads into the next uh, the next section. And so um, we'll... Uh, unfortunately, uh, going to break here, uh, just verse 7, uh, and then we'll cover the uh, the rest of the story uh, in uh, beginning Monday. But this kind of sets the scene uh, for what uh, we'll be covering. And uh, I think there is um, there, there's several lessons here uh, from Paul's work that uh, are important for us, good examples for us. Uh, it says, on the first day of the week when we were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them, uh, intending to depart on the next day, and he prolonged his speech until midnight. Uh, great passage of scripture. Us preachers love that verse because, uh, and this story in general, uh, because uh, if anybody ever calls us long-winded, we can always uh, point to Paul and say we're just following um, his uh, his example. Uh, but uh, this story begins, obviously, on uh, the first day of the week. And once again, uh, one of the examples that uh, we see, and we've talked about this before uh, with Paul, is no matter where he was, how busy he was, how tired he was, um, he managed to find a, a way, he made time uh, to worship, uh, to gather with uh, God's people, uh, and to worship together, to preach, to teach, to uh, exhort uh, the, the church of Jesus Christ. No doubt uh, by this time, Paul uh, certainly uh, could have taken a day off and uh, been well deserved. He could have decided to uh, to uh, to stay uh, stay home that day. Uh, he could have went and uh, walked. Uh, on the beach. Uh, he was in uh, Troas, which was uh, oceanfront. He could have went and sat on the beach and just rejuvenated, and um, nobody would have been able uh, to point a finger uh, at all. But instead, as usual, uh, Paul makes his way to gather with the believers. Uh, several lessons there, just uh, some of them kind of minor, but point out to you that it was the first day of the week. Uh, many people today, some uh, ask, why does the church worship on Sunday uh, instead of the Sabbath, as was in the Old Testament, and, and should we? Uh, well, we do see here that uh, Paul practiced that, and we do that because that is uh, the day of the resurrection uh, of Christ. And so uh, he came together. Uh, he observed the Lord's Supper here. They broke bread together. Um, he fellowshiped with the, the people um, and uh, was uh, among them, no matter who they were, where they were. Uh, Paul figured out a way, made time to go uh, and to be in God's house and to worship, uh, to worship the Lord. And uh, so we see, uh, you know, we often look to Paul uh, for uh, wisdom, for guidance in the church today, for an example. Uh, well, here we have a, a great uh, example. Uh, Paul made his way uh, to church. Um, we're not going to spend too much time. Uh, again, us preachers, we like this passage uh, for, uh, for our own defense uh, that uh, he does preach. Uh, and uh, he preached long. He preached until midnight uh, on this particular night. Uh, and uh, again, he he uh, he had a message to share. Um, but um, just a, a lot of little tiny uh, little trinkets uh, in uh, in this verse. Again, uh, the gathering on the first day. The fact that they did gather. The 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 Lord's Supper. Um, Paul taking the time to preach and and that he preached that when they gathered they had uh, they had church they 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 preached they uh, there was a message a purpose uh, for their gathering and so uh, didn't even really think about it till now I said a moment ago uh, that uh, I hated that this fell on uh, on Saturday uh, that we couldn't cover this whole story uh, in a couple days setting but uh, I guess God knew what he was doing because now I can tell you uh, tomorrow is the first day of the week and I uh, hope you'll follow Paul's example and gather uh, somewhere uh, with God's people if you don't have a church family if you don't have a church home uh, you're in the Concord area of uh, North Carolina would love to invite you uh, to come and to worship with 
us uh, at Poplar Grove Baptist located on Poplar Tent Road, 3476 Poplar Tent Road. We'd love to have you uh, meet out in the uh, Family Life Building, and uh, we'd love to have you there. But somewhere tomorrow, you follow Paul's example and gather with God's people. Have a great weekend. We'll see you here Monday morning.